Hello everyone, and in this video I'm gonna tell you about new spoilers about uh, JJK 261. Chapter begins with Yuji deciding that he will crush Sukuna's heart, but he didn't do this. As soon as Sukuna chants the main expansion, he sees Gojo standing there. And in disbelief, Sukuna wonders if it's really him, but pushes away that thought. And as he sees, it's impossible. It can't be possible, Gojo is standing there, but Sukuna suddenly realizes who it is. And pushes away Yuji as he moves forward and says, I apologize for your underestimating you. I didn't know you were capable of going that far, Yuta Okotsu. Sukuna addresses Gojo as a Yuta. Yes, it's not Kenjaku, it's Yuta. And every Gojo fans, it's officially I'm telling you that me personally can't believe it, but Gojo is dead. Officially, he is not going to come in this manga anymore. He's dead. Gege Akutame decided to use Geto Suguru after his death and Gojo Satoru after his death as like a weapons, only weapons, and that is what it is. Okay, in flashbacks, Yuta decides to have a Rika devour Kenjaku and copy his curse techniques, which allow him to change into bodies. Of course, uh, Maki objects to this plan, but Hakari says he can or he has an incondition. They are gonna use this plan when everyone's wiped out, they don't have any options. Next rain we can clearly see that Yuta says that he knows this is a last resort. So first he will try to fight Sukuna with his own domain expansion. If he can't win, he will accept Gojo's body. Kusakaba says that it's a good plan, but it's just not humanity, you know? What do you mean? Humanity, we're about to fight the history's strongest Jujutsu soccer, it's Sukuna. If we can win just by throwing away our humanity, we shouldn't even be arguing about this, he says. Yes, it's impossible to win with humanity, so <sighs> we're gonna win without humanity. Sand switches. Yuta tells Gojo that he will take his body if he dies. Gojo says he's fine with that. He says he has no intention of losing, doesn't care what happens to his dead body. It seems strange. Gojo says Yuta might have been born under better circumstances than him. So Gojo says to him, Yuta can't utilize that advantages, he's totally lame. Let's start off with your sloopy cursed energy. I've always told you to be careful about that. He, Gojo says to Yuta. And Gojo says, if I lose to Sukuna and all the old geezers in the room are gone, Gakuganji Gramps will stand on top of the Jujutsu headquarters. If that happens, there won't be any more house like post Shibuya incident. Gojo once again tells his students to go back, but they refuse him. Yuta tells Gojo to not try becoming a monster by himself again. And Gojo says that, that's something I can't do this. At the moment I was left behind. I have to catch up to him. It means to get a Suguru. Sen switches to Amai, Yuji's friends, explaining his curse techniques. He can amplify the sugar within himself, output in it some kind of a way. Shoko puts 
Amai in medical team with Nita as a support by having him supply their brain some sugar using his curse techniques. It's insane, guys. It's insane. And uh, right now, since switches again, we can see Yuta is uh, cutting half due to Sukuna's slash. Has been rushed to medical ward. Arata has used curse techniques to avoid Yuta's wounds from getting worse, so it might be too late. Yuta says he's conscious thanks to Rika, but he's starting to reach his limits. Oh my god, we can see Yuta half of death. Shoko tells Yuta that she has already stitched up Gorgeous corpse. So once Yuta switches, he has to activate curse technique at maximum capacity and complete the body. We can see that he has farewell to Rika. Back to present Sukuna against Yuta in gorgeous body. Both open their domain expansion. Narrator says that. Gojo had already shown the solution to Sukuna's open barrier domain. Chapter ends with Sukuna using Maluel and Shrine against Yuta using Gojo's unlimited void. That's it. In the end, I can say that Gojo will never come back again. So, goodbye, God. Liu Ichi Tenkai Muriokusou